five vapor. And I'm gonna get it so he can speak in one second. But for some reason, you can't do music and have him speak at the same time. Well, at least I haven't figured it out. So let me just. Okay, so let me just put him over to Yeti's stereo mic. All right. Then you want to speak for a me? minute? Yep, you got me. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Hey, how you doing, everyone? So, John, oh. Johnny's let me in. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Amanda Pierce, how's it going? Zesty Vapes, what's up? Big Hoss, how's it going? Stuart hey, Zesty. Hughes, what's up? Let's see. Alex. Alex is in the house. Kim, what's up? Vaping Dragons. What's going on, man? Vaping Dragons was like the first one in the room, so early bird gets to win. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, um, what has everybody been mixing up? What has been going on? I've been gone for quite a while, and, you know, like uh, – a lot of great stuff going on, um, but uh, first, Chris, anything interesting uh, you've been working on lately? Uh, yeah. There's one thing I can't talk about. It's top secret. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you, John. Oh man. But uh, but no, I have got <laughs> some. Uh, I've got some sponsorship from someone, and I've got all their Ooh. flavors arriving in the next couple of days, which I'm really uh Ooh. really good with. But I'll wait until it comes and get some recipes together. Then I'll uh, I'll do some videos. I've got a new juice that I'm going to try and clone, which is uh, Pachamama. That one right there, the Minty Leaf Honeydew Berry Kiwi. And I'm vaping it right now. Um, that's going to be my new mission. Ooh, Pachamama. I, Pachamama. But, uh, and I've got all my juices have steeped, and I've got a ton of videos I need to put out. But apart from that, John, nothing. As long as I, as long as I don't have to work out of town, because uh, I've been working out of town the last couple of weeks. Yeah, man, like, ugh, you, you, it's so crazy. Like, you know, taking mixing for granted. Like, I've been like a week. Like, it's been like a week straight without mixing anything, without even like doing it. And like all, like, even though I, I did have a great time while I was away, but like. I, I can't lie, I was thinking a lot about mixing. Like, <laughs> it's just, that's something you're always doing. Like, and like, especially when you're getting notifications from like all the other channels being like, oh, hey, they upload this, they upload that. And like, every once in a while, I would try to like sneak into a couple of the shows and like just watch a little bit just to like, you know, crave my addiction. But it's just like, damn it. <laughs> yeah. I got to get I, back to what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you mean. Every night I went to the hotel, I quickly went on and watched a few things and. And in, and even made a couple of recipes while I was there laying in bed. <laughs> I was like, maybe this will work. And I kind of put it together, scratch it down. I don't remember what they were, and I'll never find them again. But oh well, it keeps I, it going. I, I did. Uh, I did try a couple of uh, new things, like a new, uh, a couple of new e-liquids. Like since I was, what I did was. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, some people have already said congratulations. Well, thank you for saying congratulations. But uh, uh, this last Saturday, uh, I just got married. And um, I was on my honeymoon for like four days, five days or whatever it was. And I went down to Cape Cod in Massachusetts. And while I was there, I was like, well, I haven't been to any vape shops down here. Let's see what's around here. So I went to a couple and I was like, Oh, well, you know what? What the hell? Let me try some different liquids that I haven't tried before or stuff that might, I might like. So I grabbed a couple, and then I also grabbed a new mod, which I'm really excited about. And it's uh, the E-Leaf uh, Pico Squeeze. And the reason why I picked it up, and normally I wouldn't pick up a 50-watt device of anything, but... Uh, I really wanted a squonker and squonkers usually aren't that high of wattage and I wanted to get like a you know a cheap one to begin with just to like you know get get a handle for it get to like see how it works and all that and this thing is pretty good even for 50 watts it has a space uh, clapping coil it's like only a four wrap but it actually can chuck some clouds and, and it works fairly well and you get the same flavor as a dripper but without having to drip it's, it's pretty amazing I gotta try that sometime. I've I've not squonked either. And someone no, like, I, someone keeps asking me, "Are you gonna do it? Have you done it yet? Have you done it yet?" And I'm like, "No, I haven't. <laughs> I've gotta do it." Did I did I say how much this costed yet? 
No, you didn't. Okay. Not not like her, anyway. How much do you think this cost me at a vape shop? Uh, 70, 80 bucks. Yeah, no. It costs only 50 bucks. Oh, wow. I'm like, dude, that's, that's pretty much probably what I'd go for online or something. I'm like, 50 bucks at a vape shop? I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, Why? I thought it was pretty good, so... And look, I'll, t I'll take a hit off it now. I was just squonking it real quick. The only thing is you have to kind of get used to squonking, and maybe it's just this device, but, like, if, if you squeeze it and then you you let go, it'll just suck it back up. So you kind of have to, like, just hold it in like this for a minute and then let it soak for a second, then release, and then it'll, like, get your coils all wet. Uh-huh. Yeah. See? Yeah. It works pretty good for 50 watts. I mean, it is what it is. But it's good. I don't, I don't vape that high. I'm vaping at 60 watts now with uh, with the Kylene tank. Um, I put stainless steel coils in there, just normal coils, nothing special with them, and vape it at 60 watts and get good battery life out of it, and it works fine. See, I think what it is is I'm used to, like, quick quick hits. And, yeah. Uh, when you lower at the watts, you usually have a more drawn-out hit. I think, uh -huh. at least in the way I vape, because like say for example this one, this is with my Troll V2. I usually have between 120, 130 watts all the time, but I only take a hit like this. Plus right. the other one, like you have to like stay there for a few seconds longer, you know. My, I, I, I didn't answer, but uh, actually let me pop this chat out so I can see more of it. Uh. But a cup, uh, one person there said happy birthday to me for last Saturday. Uh, John did get married on my birthday. He, he didn't ask. Oh, shit, ask. that's right, man. He, di he didn't ask, but, you know, I'll let it go. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Honestly, that was not planned at all. It was just a uh, yeah. coincidence. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah it was. I'm like, you were like, you know I'm, I'm going to get that uh, fucker back, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get married on his birthday. I'm going to take this special day and make it my special Yeah, day. there you go. Oh, to me, it was just another day. It's just a... <laughs> Just got one year older. No, I did get a dope ring, though. I don't know if you can see on that camera, but basically oh, yeah, it's, cool. it, it's green and black, just kind of like my favorite colors. So. Yeah, that's cool. I've not seen one like that. Yeah, that was pretty dope. Like, I could have chose, like, whatever, but I'm like, you know what? Why not get something that I actually, like, like to look at? Because normally I'm not a jewelry guy. I don't like rings or anything like that, so... It's not one of those bands that go around the tanks, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not stretchy. It, it's, it's, it, it, okay. I just, I just wondered, John. It's it's like nothing expensive either. It's not extravagant. I think it's actually like made from tungsten. It's like nothing fancy, but it's it looks cool. Well, my ring as well is just a straight gold wedding ring. It wasn't expensive. It's just, uh, yeah. Doesn't. I don't think it needs to be anything special. Yeah, it, it's ma mainly just symbolic, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Like I almost bursted out cracking up during the wedding because, like, uh, the JP started getting into like talking about like uh, what cir uh, the ring means and being a cir endless circle. And I kept thinking of that uh, movie when there was like, it's a circle, it's a circle. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I forgot what movie it was. It's so funny. <laughs> I always say to my wife that this is the ring of power and it gets heavier every fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take it to Mordor. Yeah, you should you should have seen uh, our cake decoration. It was a ball and chain, but like it, the ball and chain was on my legs, on the like the man's legs. It was like a uh -huh. line in a groove and it had a ball and chain. At least she has a sense of humor, so. Cool. <laughs> Uh, Stuart Hawes says, uh, JFM development, uh, you don't need something fancy. It needs to be something that means something. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Oh, no. My phone? Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh hell with it. Mr. Oh, I better look at it. It could be work. And I've got my Stewie pajamas on as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so hold funny. on. I, I do need... Uh, let me answer him and tell him I'll call him back. All right. I'll mute you. Hey, Chase. Okay, I just muted him for a second while he talks to his work. So, anybody mixing up anything interesting lately? Anything new? Okay, I'll unmute him now. Okay, you're on mute. 
Sorry, that was vape related. Okay, I I unmuted you right now, just so. Okay. Uh, you know. Yeah, it okay, was vape. It was vape related, so I had to answer it. Oh, interesting. You got to yeah, tell that, us what. It was actually the owner of Ninety Nine Juices. Is that the and, flavors you're getting? Uh it's. I can't go into it too much, but it's kind of connected. Yes. Spill the beans, man. It's I can't. I can't just yet. I can't. Oh, come I, on. I'm sworn to secrecy. All right. I've got to do. I. They're sending me what, um, what I asked for, and then I've got to do something in return, and then I will, then I will spill the beans. Now, is this separate from the flavor place, or like the sponsorship, or is this the same thing? It's kind of connected. <laughs> That's it. That's all I can say. All right, all right. I'm, I'm probably. I'm interested, but I shouldn't have brought it up. But yeah, right. it's I'm it's it, it's going to be cool, and I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I like to see others being successful, you know. It's, well, it's I, good. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Alex says, I mixed up a caramel graham cracker with OSDIY Lucky Shot. That turned out delicious. I've been hearing some stuff about this OSDIY. I've never used them. There's another one that I heard of lately that I haven't used. I just can't really think of the name of it. Um, it's a newer. It, it's Well, it's not newer. It's just... Uh, more obscure and people are starting to use them a lot and I've just never used any of them. I can't think of the name. Um, Corey says at JFK development. <laughs> JFK. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice uh, base flavor of vanilla cupcake. Ooh, that's interesting, man. Share that in the group. Actually, and Corey said add your sour peach to 99 juices. Do you mean the one that's called just peachy because i was just talking to john about before about this before we went on air i can't stop vaping it um and if you mean that one yes it's gonna go uh it will go up on there i've just need some time to uh to get all of that stuff going i'm always got something going on or i'm working out of town but um there's going to be more and more flavors go up there okay this needs to be said i need to thank somebody on the stream okay all right so last week before I left, all right, I did a live stream, all right, and it was just a normal live stream. We were just talking, mixing, stuff like that, and then, like, I, just, like, not thinking of it, just wanted to help people get a good deal on stuff. I'm like, oh, hey, I just got the email from Nicotine River. They're having a VG sale. Uh, if you use code VG, you get 20% off your VG. You remember that last week? 20% off oh, VG from who, me? Nick River. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, John. Yeah, because you wouldn't be waiting for an answer from them, would you? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> well, you could do. <laughs> no, I no, I didn't catch that, John. Oh, well, anyways, Nick River had a 20% off VG sale last week, and I mentioned it in my live stream, so anybody who needed VG took advantage of it. And so I need to give a thank you to somebody, and I'm going to show you why right now. And I'm just going to do this for dramatic effect, so hold on right here. <laughs> okay. Do I need a drum roll? I want much of a drum though. But... Holy crap. <laughs> it's gotten wrapped up like body bags. Oh god, I'm not gonna lift the other one. Okay. Alright guys, so just so you know, this right here, this is not a gallon, okay? That's two and a half gallons each. And I just want to thank John Phenom, okay? Everybody usually always sees him in the chat, but thank John Phenom. He randomly, for a, a marriage gift or whatever, he was like, give me your address. I want to send you a congratulations for getting married and everything and your subscribers or whatever, so thank you. And he sent me five gallons of VG and took advantage <laughs> of that for sale. So nice. Like, I can't say no to VG. I mean, like, we'll, we'll all go through that. I'm almost gone on my other gallon. So that was awesome. But, like, holy crap, I got tons of VG. <laughs> but thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, that's that's nice. I think he meant for two and a half gallons to be used on your honeymoon, John. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. we won't go into that. You but, can uh... fill up a bathtub with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. That'd be romantic, right? Yeah, hey. Yeah. No, but on another note, though, and I was thinking of it because uh, I had chap lips the other day, and I was like, dude, I don't have any chapstick, and, like, just an off thing, and I looked it up, too, and it's actually normal. It's a natural way to get rid of uh, dry lips. 
you can actually use your VG for uh -huh. chap lips too. And I, I was just thinking, I'm like, wait, I don't have any chapstick, but VG is kind of like petroleum jelly. And I like looked it up, and people actually do it, and it actually works. So, right. in case you need to know an off thing to do, I know it's used in a lot of um, skin products and things like that, and it's supposed to be really good for your skin. So I guess it would work pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's worth uh, worth knowing. Yeah, definitely. I always like to figure out like off use because we have all these flavors and all these things and like and there's so many things you can do. You can use them for like baking. You can use them for like making drinks. Like there's so much stuff you can use, not just e liquid. It's pretty cool. I well, I've used them for fishing bait. Um, I made a peach fishing bait one day, and then my daughter's got this thing about slime, making slime. You know, you make it out of glue and um, shaving foam and eye contact solution you mix it up and you get this big slime ball and she loves it she just thinks it's funny as hell and she watches this youtube channel that makes oh, it cool. all. so um i said to her do you know what let me bring down a strong flavor so we got a smell to it so uh yeah i took down some uh, blue raspberry and put in it but the shaving foam kind of uh <laughs> smelled more than what that did but i tried it that seems like that's like becoming a big thing now, like with kids making slime. Because I think my yep. nieces and nephews are doing that too. Yeah, she loves. She's crazy on it, and she got me to make it. And <laughs> it was it was kind of fun. I had this shit all over my hands. I couldn't do anything. My wife was just looking at us both and moaning. But um, we had some fun doing it. Wow. <laughs> uh, Stuart says, uh, "Could you twist your?" top light out on the third behind you it's bright up towards the camera yeah sure there we go i hope uh... that's better <laughs> all right so uh i did get a couple liquids i did tell chris this but so i, I ended up getting that uh Squonk mod, which I really want to because I want to try a squonk mod and I got two liquids in that I am wanting to clone the first one being I have tried this one But I loved it. So I want to get it again, and I want just to like have something different to vape uh, But I'm probably gonna try to clone it. It's the Casadega e liquids cannoli be breakfast I love this you guys know me. I love my fruity pebbles. I love my breakfast, and this is definitely a good vape so uh, that's what I'm gonna be going after cloning and then this one is funny, and it kind of has a funny backstory. I don't know if I really want to tell it, but uh, <laughs> the name in itself is funny. But it's called he it's from Heaven's Lube, and it's uh, called Morning Wood. <laughs> and it's a cereal vape. It tastes like a berry cereal to me. Um, I definitely I'm I'm 100 percent positive I can clone it. It's just a matter of you know making a different variation of what I've already done. But uh, it, it it's kind of funny because the place I got this kind of was a I don't even know how to explain it. It was like a jack of all trade shop, let's just say. It was kind of like... It was kind of like a a Spencer's gift shop like that had vape stuff in it, if you know what I mean. Like, I wasn't expecting to see this. Yet. Like, we're, we went in because like, we, we saw that it was like this magic and trick store and stuff. Then we found out, we went further back, they had like party favors, party stuff. Then you go further back and then there's like... They had like vape stuff and e-liquid and then they had like, you know, uh, marijuana paraphernalia and then they had um, adult stuff further back. So they, it was kind of like a jack of all trade shop. I, I've never really seen one other than like Spencer's GIF, but they did have vape stuff and I saw it and I'm like, that actually, I've never tried that before and I might like it. So I tried it and it's pretty good. So Cool. Yeah. I, yeah, I spent... Um... Oh, God, I spent about an hour and a half in the vape store the other day before I picked up that uh, Pachamama stuff. And I tried all sorts. I'll tell you what I did like, and that was Jam Monster. My God, that shit was good. But I thought, do you know what? A bunch of people have cloned it. I know you've got one, John, as well. I'll have to try it because if it's anything like the real thing, I'll vape the shit out of it. Um, but, yeah, I really did like that. It tasted just like jam on toast. Yeah. Yeah, really good stuff. So I'll, I've got to try yours. Yeah, mine is good. Uh, it's not exactly like the original. It's my take on it, but right. it's good. It's yeah, good. I think I think getting the original is going to be kind of hard. Getting the butter's going to be easy enough. The jam's easy enough, but the bread, 
I was going to beat the bitch. Yeah. The way I did it was I used Flavor West Waffle. That was uh, right. the closest I could get to it. Um, other than that, it's, it wasn't easy. Right. That I've got a couple of bitch. ideas that I'm going to try and see how they come out. But I remember you saying about the waffle for bread. So I'm going to give that a go. Uh, yeah, Christmas. I, just, I just don't know what else to use for it. Like, I mean, you can mess around with different cakes and stuff, but that bread is tough. Right. Right. Chris McGregor asked what tank I'm on. Well, when I've got that patch of mama, I also seen this tank. It's the Kylene, Van der Vates Kylene, and I love it. It's really good. I also got the OBS engine this week as well um, and used that for work today because it's almost impossible to get it leak to leak unless you turn it upside down and blow in it or something. But uh, this one's great flavor. It's kind of like an RDA. But, uh, but yeah, definitely worth it. And it was, I don't remember what it was, 35 bucks or something like that. The authentic one from a vape store. So it was uh, not expensive at all. Um, let's see. Now, everybody, just, if you guys just want to, like, um, give me a quick yes if the stream is coming across okay. Because, again, for some reason, I'm getting orange as my stream health like do what what color is your stream health normally is it normally green i i don't normally look at it <laughs> oh because like I, usually <laughs> mine was always green and like i have a really fast internet like really fast like it, right. it's a hundred over a hundred like it's fiber optics so i never usually have a problem but like the last couple of streams it's been like orange i don't know why right yeah mine's actually my feed this and john on um, on youtube has stopped it stopped and it's just spinning, but everyone else must be getting us because uh, somebody just asked me, "Is the OBS single or dual deck?" Um, it's a dual. It's a dual deck one. Okay. All right. So yeah, I just looked under uh, Google's thing. It has a little question mark, and when it's orange, it means it's okay. But viewers may be experiencing minor issues. Why? Right. So I don't know. Sorry I, guys, I, I have the internet. It's it's definitely not on my side. I'm the only one actually using this socket. So uh, nobody else shares my internet. It's a straight feed. So if it's anything, it's Google. Google's server is not. And my bit rate's up high. So I don't know. But you, you, you can't control it sometimes. I swear sometimes it's Google. It's not us. Uh, Juice Man just said something. Um, real flavors has a bread flavor has a bread that's bang on so uh Ooh. i'm writing that down and i will check that out i'm about to go on there now bread real okay. flavors has been like really like going crazy with all their like specials uh, do you know what i don't think i've got anything from real flavors well i got like I don't know. I got like three, six, nine, twelve, maybe like fifteen flavors from them. Oh wow! And I've used probably like maybe half of them, but every single one I used, and like, I really don't want to talk bad about a company, but my experience with them is, which this isn't really bad, because every company kind of does this to an extent, but. I don't like how they put a recommended percentage on their bottle because in right. every single one of my findings, they have been weaker than what is stated on the bottle. In other words, right. you have to use more of it to actually get the flavor you're looking for, or at least the flavor I'm looking for. Yeah, that sounds kind of like a marketing thing, doesn't it? Like, oh, you, oh, I only need 3% of this, and you get it, and you need like 8 or something. Yeah. <laughs> and you're yeah. going to use a shitload more of it, but... Yeah, so I don't know. And, like, I mean, I've used that, like, their recommended percentage, and, like, you literally have to search for the flavor. It's so weak, or, like, it barely comes across. Then you raise it up. But, like, the problem is, is, like, newer people using it, they're just going to be like, oh, this flavor sucks. You know what I mean? Like... And it kind of turns you off from using it, so I don't know. Right. I um, someone uh, they asked me what the uh, flavor was like on the OBS. The thing I wish the I got the OBS before I got the Kylene. The OBS is very good. I like it. Um, but the Kylene right now is just a flavor whore. 
it is uh it's a really good tank and it's really really good flavor so uh i've kind of hit in this while i'm at home it doesn't have a real big leak issue but when you'll know if you've got one you'll see the way it wicks both wicks go in together in the same hole and uh it really does suck a lot of juice up so when that happens it sucks and then it go back down the side um it will actually wick it back down into the into the bottom so you get a little bit of leakage but it's just residual juice not a proper leak but um i i really do like it yeah the one i've been really looking into lately i haven't pulled the trigger yet but i think i'm gonna get it is the I haven't actually used an R, like a certified RTA. Like I mean, I've used like the TFEA with the RBA section and all that, but like I've never actually used the like a real RTA. And I I think I want to get the uh, Serpent um, SMM, the suck my mod version one. Uh huh. Um, it looks really cool. I like that you use single coils. You can put like pretty big single coils in there, and that way you're using less coils, so you're not wasting that way, and you'll probably go through less juice and. It just seems like a good way, you know, to get a good vape to have to buy pre-made coils. So I want to try it, you know. Right. I feel like when I'm in the car, so. Uh, sorry, I, I'm just reading a couple of things here. I uh, do have a guy over here, uh, Corey Obar. He keeps saying at JFK. It's JFM development, but he's um listing a recipe um bavarian cream two percent vanilla cupcake two percent graham cracker one percent dx sweet cream one percent great vanilla cupcake add your own fruit um, oh that's just cupcake base oh, okay all right i'll, uh, I'll copy yeah. and paste that and try it out all right um, copy all right yeah i'll copy and i'll try it out when i have some time Give it, a, give it a go. Put it in my notepad. Pull that up. That yeah, go. Stuart, you're right there. It is just, yeah. It, I mean, it wicks the juice up the side. And it does it with the TFE 8 and the TFE 12 and the TFE 4. It does them all with all these RTAs. It'll wick the juice up. And then, you know, as it's sat there dormant doing nothing, it's wicking and it's going back down the side. Not very much. And like you said, the vapor build up as well as, when, as it comes out. It's got to uh, sit there and do something. But um, when I say leak, it doesn't leak. Um, not, you know, when I say leak, I mean when you turn it on its side and it all pours out the hole. That's a leak, you know, and it goes down the side of the mod. That's a leak. This is just a bit of residual around the sides. So it's, I mean, it's a, it's good. But I find I've got to uh, re-wick it um, by every two days. It doesn't last very long. But it's the, I think it's the juice that I'm using. The coils seem pretty gunky, and I've been using a lot of sweetener lately. Um, I've got on the sweetener bandwagon because of uh, Beard. <laughs> I thought I was cloning that. And I've just got into a bunch of sweet juices now. And I need to try just and give wean myself already. off. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard, though. It is. Like, yeah. I, I do get to a point where sometimes, like, I rather, like, they, like, less sweet juices. But something about it, I always have to have sweetener in my liquid. Just because, like, I don't know. To me, the other ones come across bitter, but maybe that's because I'm just used to it. Like, grown accustomed to it. Right. Someone said how to make sweetener for e-liquid by stevia powder. Oh, don't I, do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not... I'm do not... It. I don't know anything about it. Um, my only ever thing with stevia lately is um, is peach with stevia from... Uh, well, actually, I got a couple. I got pear with stevia, peach with stevia, and I've got another one with stevia that I got off Capella. Um, they are very sweet. Um, I just got them because the pear that was the only one they done, and I thought, well, well, I'm getting pear. Let's go and get peach and see what that one's like. And uh, they really help. What well, one of them really helped for that clone that I done. So, um, but it pissed a few people off because they couldn't get peach with stevia. Um, now, how would you say that compares to like other flavors without strainers in it? Oh, it's night and day. I mean, it is it is sweet as hell, John. Like, you just put it a little bit, dab it, you know, like I normally do with a flavoring when I first get it. Mm -hmm. You go out and it's like, holy shit, it's it's real sweet. Oh, that's it's awesome. It's one of those things that you kind of want to put in a put in a mix and not add any sweetener because that one flavor is in there at like 1% or 2% and it's got all the damn sweetener you ever need in it. Oh, shit. It, it's kind of like that. 
And now, you, had, you weren't you saying you had to go to... I'm sorry, you might have already said this, but whatever, I'm going to say it again. So, uh, you said you had to go to a special place to buy those, though, right? I, I went straight to Capella. Capella, USA, yeah. So, now, uh, how, how many do they actually have with Stevia in it? Uh, do you know what? I think it's about three or four. Maybe, maybe some more. I don't remember. I think I ended up with about three or four of them. Um, Peach, don't, let me have a look. You can see my Stewie jammers again as well. <laughs> Man, I'm not going to lie to you guys, though. This this freaking morning wood juice, it's it's good. It's good. <laughs> ah, shit, and I just knocked everything over. Like, All it right. tastes like a berry cereal that's like... I pretty much know I can make this already, but it's it pretty much tastes like a, a berry cereal that's like the green notes are like enhanced by uh, cereal 27. Probably, uh, they're definitely using like Bavarian cream, sweet cream, maybe even some malted milk. I, I already know I can make it, but like it was just already pre-made, pre-steeped. It's good, man. It's a good cereal, babe. All right, I'm almost there, John. Definitely brown sugar, for sure. Um, the stevia ones have got like a little green leaf stamp on the side of them. I don't know where my peach with stevia is. Uh, thank you, C4 in game. Thanks for saying congrats. And thank you to everybody. If I if I miss saying thank you for saying congrats, thank you everybody. Thank you. John, I may have more, but right now I found four of them. I think I might have a couple more. I'm not sure, but I've got, I've obviously got peach with stevia, um, orange mango with stevia, pear with stevia, and wild cherry with stevia. And so you only can buy them direct? I don't know. I haven't seen them anywhere else, but they've got that little, see the little green stamp on the side of them? Mm-hmm. So... And oh, yeah, yeah flavors I... with stevia. Here we go. Oh, all right, yeah, all right. So I'm on the website. It says they have uh, uh, blueberry pomegranate, Concord grape, kiwi strawberry, orange mango, peach, pear, wild cherry. Mm, those are all of them. Well, do you know what? I may have the strawberry kiwi one. I think I have that as well. Oh, they're not, you know, they're not as bad as I thought for, like, the small ones. But, like, I remember I was looking at the big ones or something, and, like, they charge, like, four times the amount as if you went to, like, a distributor for, like, the bigger oh, wow. ones. Huh. I think it was, yeah, like, I... a 12-ounce one. They were, like, four ounce. Oh, yeah, here it is. Well, this is for Super Sweet. Super Sweet, for example, all right? If you go to Bull City Flavors and buy a four ounce of Super Sweet, it'll cost you, like, Normal, I think twelve ninety nine or twelve fifty or whatever it is. Right. On the Capella website, they charge you nineteen ninety five. But that's that's just for super Damn. sweet. Huh? So, let's you wouldn't have thought that, would you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So all right, it wasn't as dramatic as I thought, but yeah, all their four ounce flavors are nineteen ninety five. So you're paying more if you get bigger size. Well, you're paying more either way because even the the thirteen mil ones. For example, they're three twenty nine, and I think they're like two forty nine or something at like yeah, the city. That's why I think they are. So you pay more direct. So only use it if you're tr getting something you really uh, can't <laughs> well, get anywhere else. Well, do you know what I done? I went on there to all I wanted was the pear. Um, I thought that's what was missing. I thought there was a bit of pear in it. So I tried other pears. I got every single pear you can think of. I didn't have this one. So I go to Capella to get it. And while I'm there, I buy some other flavors, you know, make the shipping worth it. Mm -hmm. um, so I get the pear kind of last. I pick a peach out, peach with stevia. And then I go off, get a few other things, come down. Thought I clicked on pear with stevia. I clicked on peach again and ordered everything and didn't even get the pear that I originally went over for. <laughs> so then I went back and put like a $70 order in. Got this and I thought, fuck yeah, I'm going to get a whole bunch of them. So I just ordered a whole ton of them. And I've got... I don't know. Maybe there's six to ten flavors that I don't have of Capella. I think I've got most of them. 
Now, uh, Vaping 101 says Capella shipping takes forever. How long did it take for it to get to you? Oh, God. Um, I ordered it and it came about three days later. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah. you just had a bad experience. They, um, and that was over a holiday weekend. That was over 4th of July as well. I ordered one, I think, on the, on the Friday. Um, they shipped it. It come on the Wednesday after it come on Wednesday the 5th, I think. And the other one came on Thursday or Friday the 5th because I didn't order that until Saturday. But no, it was pretty good. Well, my experience with it was. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm just trying to see if uh, any of the normal places have those compels. I just checked Bull City, and Bull City doesn't have any of them. Um, now I'm looking at Nick River. It's interesting because I don't think I've actually, like, I think there might have been one. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay. So Nick River has uh, Capella Kiwi Strawberry with Stevia or Stevia. Right. And they're selling one ninety nine, but that's for 10 mil. Okay. All right, so there are some places, but uh, they have uh, pear with stevia. Why? Right. Yeah, I went to my two. See, I've only ever ordered from Ball City Flavors and E Sig Express. I've not gone anywhere else. See, the problem too is like, well, this is actually a stupid issue. It's the, this isn't even a problem unless you're like OCD. But like, the <laughs> thing that I don't like about uh, Nick River when they sell Capella is you have to get ten mils. Like they don't have the they don't you sell them in the original bottles. And I actually really like the Capella I, original bottles. Uh, me too. Yeah. Do you know what? That's strange. I'm not OCD at all, um, but I really do like these bottles. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and they've got a you know a bigger dropper. Um, it doesn't take so long to put the stuff in. They're they're my they're what I think is like the best bottle like for DIY like flavors. Uh huh. They'd be perfect. Like they, I never had a defect with them. They always come out. Like granted, they do have big droppers, but. If, if they all kind of had the same droppers, it wouldn't be a problem. Right. You know what right. I mean? Train Sonic, how you doing? Kim, uh, how's it going? What's up? Jim, what's up? Yeah, Welcome. Corey, um, he said, uh, someone asked what my, they asked us both, John, what our, what we think is our best mix that we've ever made. Someone already answered for me and said it's beard number 71. It's not actually. It's actually the one that came just after it, which is just peachy, which I think is an improvement on Beard 71. It's uh, I added some cranberry in it from uh, Capella, and it made it real tart. And I added a peach, I think, from uh, either Inawera. I think it's Inawera. And a pear from TFA or something. I don't remember the exact things, but uh, the recipe is up. There's a video on my channel. But um, that that I cannot put down. It is really good. And if you're asking me, see, that's complicated. Um, I, I I will give you an answer, but let me just say first that's very complicated because you're constantly making new things that you start to love to vape all the time. And, like, it's changed for me, like, five times. Like, one before it was a, a breakfast cereal vape, my Flintstone clone, uh, my strawberry cheesecake, my... Uh, strawberry taffy than my straw tastic but honestly if i were to have to pick one that i just can't stop vaping all the time i never get sick of it i never lose the flavor it always tastes great no matter how much i vape it which is pretty much unknown and unheard of because usually you'll you'll like get used to a flavor after a while and you won't taste as much but it doesn't happen with this one and it's the catalyst clones my uh blueberry fried ice cream like oh. I've made huge bottles of it. I have this much left. I have to make some more. You, you got a you got a video up for that, John? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, all right. I've got to write that down. JFM is. Did you say it was a Catalyst clone? Yeah, it's Catalyst clone. Okay. Uh, it's also a blueberry fried ice cream. I don't know how to list it on my ELR. I'm, I'll check that. I actually put a link in the description for my ELR. Blueberry uh, fried ice cream. But I actually made that uh, for a clone for somebody because Country Living, um, he actually sent me a clone. Oh, yeah, and another one is my uh, raspberry sugar cookie ice cream. That one's another great one I love. But uh, 
the Catalyst clone, uh, Country Living, he has a YouTube channel that does DIY, does mech mod reviews and stuff like that. Uh, he actually sent me a bottle and asked me to clone it because it was his all day vape and he loved it and I sent it, he sent it to me and I cloned it. It's almost, it's almost one to one and I love it and I haven't stopped vaping it since. Um, let's see. I and of course there's my all day vape, which by its name is what, you know, that's the only one that I mix two of these at a time and leave them to steep. This one's uh, probably about eight weeks old now. Um, it's got one hell of a color to it. But uh, that one I've been on for three years. And I haven't vaped much of it lately because of uh, this this peach stuff. But I am I do go back to it, and I know I will be back to it. Ah, here we go. All right. Yeah, and um, just so you know, if you haven't tried it, have you tried uh, Strawberry Biscuit from uh, Nicotine River? I, it's I have flavor. No. Oh man, that one is one flavor. It's, if you love strawberry and cream vapes, strawberry vapes, like look into that flavor. I'm telling you, I I actually made a strawberry biscuit flavor with it, and that's also in one of my all day vape rotations. I have to buy more. I ran out of it like right away once I bought it because it was that right. good. All right, so let's see, paste. Christian, have you moved your recipes over to ninety nine? Uh, recipe page it they will be that's where i'll be putting them up from going forward now um i'll be putting them up on there so as i make a video they will go up on there there is a reason for it um you know if a lot of people said well elr has got everything you know and it's got more than what it's got and all the flavors and yes they've got so much more than what this place has got right now but soon it won't have and I can promise you that it'll have something unique that none of them's got. Um, and I'm really excited to see how this thing grows. So uh, it's not going to happen overnight, but it's um, it's coming. And I've spoke to the people they've been speaking to, and it's going to be really cool. That's why I've got to hold back on what I say, John, and what's going on. But uh, it's that's why I've gone over there to give them my full support and. Uh, that's the, and they've been real good to me, so I'm gonna, and I'm they're, gonna they're an put, put, put my recipes up right? there. That's what they are. Yet yeah, it still needs work. They've not even got milligrams up on it yet. But you know they are. They've they've been out there since 2013. They they made it. They put the uh, e juice calculator up, and then kind of just disappeared. He said, you know, we just forgot about it. Then we come back and realize that we're getting thousands and thousands of visitors every day. And thought, hold on a minute, we need to do something. So they kind of put their heads together and come up with a few ideas and then kind of brainstormed off of that. And they've had these ideas. They've talked to the right people, and these ideas are going to become reality, and it's going to be really cool. That's it's going to be awesome. a cool, cool. It's going to be great for the beginning DIYer. It's going to be perfect. Good. Yeah. No, I, I like to uh, see, you know what, more competition is good because, you know what, that's what sparks innovation. You have more people trying to fight for the prime spot. You know, it's good. It's good. I like it. Right. Uh, Stuart said, once they have grams on it, you'll switch. Yeah, it's... Uh, and, and the trick with it is, it, even though it doesn't have grams, whatever it says in mils is grams. So if it says 0 0.60 mils, that's 0.62 grams. It's so damn close. Just use the mils and put grams after it. Um that's one way to do it, uh, but obviously we want grams on there. We want it to say grams, but uh, yeah, it's um, it it it's not a hard thing to put up there. There, it's on their list, but they've got so much other stuff going on. But that's it's at the top of their list. They're going to get that up real soon um, because it, I think it's stopping a lot of people from going over there. You know, it's funny you mention that and how like a small world it is. Like literally. Uh, you know the e-liquid calculator that I've been using and loving? It's I think it's called like e-liquid calculator, literally for Android. But I love it. I always talk good about it. I did a tutorial with it, and I tell people whoever I have Android to use it because one of the prime things I loved about it was yeah, you have to pay a dollar for it, but it's the most polished app. The developer always works on it and all this. So one day I was like, you know what? There's this one feature that's kind of bugging me, and it's keeping it from being absolutely perfect, which it's already awesome. But, like, there's one thing, and what that was was 
if you didn't add your flavors into your inventory, it would keep asking you every time you would try to write out a recipe, would you like to add it to your flavor stash? Right. And I wish there was a way to disable that. So I'm like, you know what? One day, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to contact the developer. I contact him. It has my email with, like, my channel name and everything on it because it's linked to my name, and that's what it comes up on Google. Uh-huh. And then this guy literally has been watching me this whole time. Like, he's actually a subscriber to the channel. Oh, cool. And, like, I had no idea, but, like, it's just, like, a small world, and, like, yep. it's crazy. It's really crazy. Yeah. Well, do you know what? I've got um, – I've obviously got the DIY channel, but I've got a car channel. Um, it's when I bought my dub, my Subaru WRX. Scooby-Doo, right? Yeah, Scooby-Doo. That's what it's yeah. called, Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Uh, now I don't have a Subaru. It's still called <laughs> Scooby-Doo, and I have a Ford RS now. But, uh, but I had that car, and it had the license plate on it, Scooby-Doo. And I was over fishing. And I was just sat there, and some guy come by, and he said, Hey, Scooby-Doo, is that you? And I turned mm-hmm. around, and I said, Yeah. And he'd come down, and he said, um, I've got a WRX. I watch your channel a lot. He said, Nice <laughs> to meet you. Shook my hand and all that stuff. It was, like, really cool. That's awesome. Just, uh, just happened to be jogging by and seeing my car and uh, come down and said hi. Speaking of that, I think I was watching one of your vi- – I think I actually watched one of your videos in, uh, with your new R- RS, right? It's an yeah. RS. Yeah, yeah, and you were talking about uh, – you were thinking about getting a new player or whatever. Have you decided what you were going to get? Oh, yes, I've got it. Yeah, it's from UK. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so so the, I'll never have to change it again. It'll just go yeah. from one car to another. That's, that's my plate now. Yeah, and good, I've actually put I actually uh, last Monday put in the application for American citizenship. So sometime oh, in the next awesome. nine months, um, I'll be uh, I'll be American. Oh, so you'll no longer be an Le- alien. Legally, yeah, yeah, I'll still be an alien. However <laughs> 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 you want to look at that, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm never going to go back. You know, I just go back and visit, but I'll never go back to live. You know, my family's here. I started a family, so it's like it doesn't give me much other thing. You know, I can vote and stuff once it happens. I can do jewelry duty and stuff like that, which I could never do before, which I don't really want to. But uh, it's just the fact that every 10 years I'd have to go for a green card again. And you don't know what the immigration laws are going to be like coming up in the future. So I think it's just so better just to go ahead and do it now. And uh, and get it over and done with because I'm never leaving. I'll I'll die here. <laughs> yeah, no. it's it's just you know, without getting too like political or anything, but you seem like that kind of guy. I, I, you seem like you think it's like the right thing to do, right? So, right, right for you. Right. If you love being here, you have family, you have roots. So why not? You know. Yep, I've yeah. always loved. It. So yeah, the second I flew in to North Carolina, I was like, holy crap! I was expecting this big metropolis, and it was just like all lakes and trees and i was like wow this is really cool so uh yeah i kind of live out in the country kind of out of the town a little bit i've got a 45 minute commute but i'm out in the middle of nowhere it's really nice it's interesting you mentioned that because i actually heard a lot of people from europe picture america like this is what i heard i don't know if it's true but a lot of people from europe picture america a lot different than it is like they, uh, yeah. they, they think it's somewhere like you can like just travel in your car everywhere and they don't realize just how big it is there's a lot of misconceptions. Like one, we just think you're a bunch of go- gun-toting, trigger-happy motherfuckers. It's what is what you think. And and when I talk to when I go back to England, they're like, "Oh wow, isn't it dangerous?" Because all they watch is like L.A. Law and all that. So you know what I mean? That's all. They just yeah. watch all these programs and TV and you know bad cop shootings and shoot ups at schools and all, all the bad stuff. You know, and I say. I don't see any of that. I know people that own guns and everything, but it's not like that. You know, you don't see this every day, you know, uh, but trying, you know, and I said, it's such a big country that that shit's going to happen. You know, it's got, what's it? uh, Eight times the, the amount of people in it. So, you know, you're going to have eight times the nutters, you know, so it's kind of, (laughs) so, but yeah, they, they think that, you know, all the police are crazy and they shoot people. And and it's not like I've been pulled over many times by the cops and most of them have been really fair. None of them's ever spoke down to me or been nasty or, yeah, always, always been fine. Yeah, no. People always see the worst of the worst. Like, people only talk when it's bad. But when it's right. good, people barely ever talk, you know? Right, right. Uh, Corey Ober says... Uh, 
a guy that has a YouTube channel that has great recipe is Steam Room Vapor, and it's called Sinister Sweet Mix. It's my all day vape, and you can't find it. I can post the ingredients. Now, I know where Steam Room is. It's okay. I can find it. He has all his accounts. Uh, yeah, there's. I mean, he's one of the main players out there. You got DIY Wild Die, Steam Room, Zesty Vapes, Fresh O Three. Um, me and John. <laughs> you know, there's uh, there, there's a lot of people out there that um, that you know, there's a, there's some really well known people out there, and it's uh, I've I've tried, I've tried recipes from most of them, um, and some I like, some I don't like, um. But that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> it's, you know, it's just a. Actually, I've only tried a couple of Johns, and uh, not just saying this because John's here, but I actually like both of them <laughs> a lot. Oh well, thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah. I honestly try. Sometimes, like I will put recipes out that like I am actively working, but usually I only like to put out recipes that I actually can like vape all day. Like if I don't think I could vape it all day, like I don't really like to release it because it's just like I, I don't know. I feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, you know right. What I mean? no, I, but, I, I, and that's how my channel first started off, John. I used to sit and wing it. Well, not wing it. I used to enjoy it. I used to say, "Look, this is what I do. This is how I make recipes." And I'd pick lucky dips up and start mixing, you know. And most of the time, they're okay. They're all vapable. There were some real good ones in there. Some okay ones. I think there was like two absolute shite ones. And in the next video, I said, "Don't fucking make that," you know. So, but that was about it. Out of like six months of doing it, and then all of a sudden, I said, "Right, let's put some quality stuff out there, and I'll work on all this in the background." And a lot of people didn't like it. They were like, "No, do what you were doing." And I was like, "Yeah, but I, I'll do some of what I was doing, but at the same time." I'm going to do all of this in the background, let it steep, try it, and put out some real good recipes. So that's that's what I try and do now all the time. I don't do the lucky dip stuff anymore. Well, apart you know, from apart from live feeds, when someone asks for something, you know, then you put something together real quick. I don't know. I, I kind of miss them, though. Right. There, there, there is... I don't know. I, I, I think there's a part, like, there's a place for both of it. Because, like, all I know is I found it entertaining. Like, I even like right. to do it personally my, myself. Like, I like to pick random flavors and see what the hell I can do with them. Like, I mean, it's a good concept. It, it really tries to, like, test the way you know your flavors and what you can do with them. I, I like that idea. And honestly, like, I, you know, I'm going to say something against the grain because apparently the fucking community doesn't like this. But <laughs> I used to like when you and your daughter would mix. But you know what? Whatever. Yeah. I can I can see I the thing is John I never seen the bad side of it to begin with um you know what's done is done it's in the past but I never seen the bad side because it's me and my daughter you know we got a special relationship and she not she's not interested in smoking or vaping or anything like that she w wants to know why I do it you know and it's bad for me but um we were messing with food products you know and she kind of liked messing with the flavors she loved it there was never any nicotine involved, but at the same time, it's it was never. We weren't baking cakes. Right. We were making e juice. In the image, and like I, I, and, I get that side. Like I do. Yeah. Yeah. And but, even even to this day, she still doesn't come up to my mixing table, even when I'm on my own. See, I just kind of, I kind of just stopped it. When we get to the art of it, though, sometimes we actually. Well, at least I do. Like, when I'm, like, you know, trying to be creative, trying to mix flavors together, I'm not necessarily looking at the stigmas and how it's vaping and how everybody looks at it. I'm thinking of, oh, how would this flavor be go good with this? How does this taste with that? And, like, yeah. so say if it was baking cakes, it would be a yeah. fucking excellent show because you're showing how you could fucking use those flavors to bake excellent fucking cake. You know what I mean? Right, right. I mean, it, it's a shame. It is. It, it, is. it is. It was a lot of fun. A lot of people enjoyed it. But um, at the same time, it was it, it was it was the wrong thing to do. You know, it just. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 we were make we were making um, vape products. We weren't baking cakes, you know, right. so it's just and I didn't really distinguish between them all. because I thought I'm just using a bunch of inert substances here that can't hurt her and and you know and that's where i was with it but um once all that kind of blew up um 
I said to her, you know, now I don't want you anywhere near it. Because, you know, I th it made me think after that, you know, I'm kind of showing her that it's kind of okay to do this. And yeah. I don't I don't want that, you know. So mm -hmm. she doesn't go anywhere near my mixing table. And she's not allowed to, to, to be around me when I'm mixing. Maybe it is for the best, too, you know. It, it is. Maybe it is. It is. Definitely, yeah. It, there's so much more than just uh, coming on and, and some viewers enjoying what you're doing. You know, it's my daughter. I've got a kid to bring up, and I need to bring her up properly. So it's exactly. kind of one of those like, things I never – I you know, it is a special yeah. relationship, and I do everything with her. But it's – that that just needs to not happen. Yeah, no, I agree. I yes. agree because, I, like, I'm about to have a kid now too. And Oh, like, you are? Oh, I didn't tell you? No. Oh, yeah. Um, if anybody didn't know, I'm going to be having a kid. Uh, the wife is pregnant. Yes. Holy shit. Holy shit. I She's don't think I, three I'm sure pregnant. I didn't know that. She's three months pregnant. Maybe yeah. you did tell me a while ago, but I didn't, don't yeah. remember it. Well, yeah. holy crap. She is three months pregnant. Yeah. So everything. So, kind you, of so, so there is another good mix that you put out there not so long ago. <laughs> Have you got, you got a video on that one, John? <laughs> no, not that mix. That mix no, is private. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, I, I never, I, I could, I thought I told everybody. I, I thought I mean, wow. You know what? Maybe I was trying to hold it because I was. All right, I, I'll be honest, and like this is kind of personal, but maybe people can relate. Uh, you know, we, we did try at one other point, and one point she had a miscarriage, and we told everybody, and we got all excited, and. It yeah. came out that no baby ever formed or whatever, but this time it did, and it's real. Yeah. But she used to take a birth control that kind of uh, messed with her hormones or whatever or something. Right. And, but now everything's good, and she, we're having a healthy baby so far. So. Uh, yeah. Well, my wife, my wife had a difficult pregnancy with Lucy, and I remember her going in after about three or four months, and they went, they put her in for a, a test for Down syndrome, you know. And my wife said, what would happen if it came up positive? And I said, well, it's just another fucking retard in the family. That's what I said. <laughs> and she just looked at me. She said, you are bad. And I was like, honey, I don't care what she comes out like. She's mine. I exactly. said, she could be missing her arms. She might, you know, I said, I, I, she could have downs. I said, I don't care. She's mine. And we're having her, you know, because they do it at that stage so you can abort. And I'm like, that's, that's not happening. Yeah. You know, like, I, that, that's my thought on it. Like that on, on her too. Right. Right. They do like a DNA sequence thing so they can like see if there's hereditary and all that yep. stuff. And yeah. Yep. But like, you know what? It, like, uh, my wife, she's like really stuck. She like really wants a boy. And uh, once she said that, I'm like, you know what? Honestly, I would love a boy too. But honestly, I, I don't care. Honestly, whatever, I'm fine with boy, girl, whatever. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. I was, I was the same. I mean? It, it doesn't yeah. matter. Being a guy, you kind of think that you want a boy, but there's something, there's some special bond between a father and his daughter. Yeah. There's something there that you can't explain. And obviously Mama's there is. Mama's boy, but, you know, yeah, daddy's and girl. Yeah. Exa exactly. And it's, uh, but she, she does all the things that the boys do anyway. So it's kind of. Well, I think that's why my wife wants a boy. So she has, you know. <laughs> oh, right. All right. <laughs> the only thing is when she starts dating, you know, how am I going to deal with that? I, I, I deal. I think I'm going to be okay. Every father's got to go through it, but it's going to feel weird, you know. Yeah, it is going to feel weird. Yeah, I think that's the that's when I buy a shotgun and sit out on the porch. Oh, I already got my gun. I'm already prepared. Oh. <laughs> I already prepared. If you need a borrow, let me know. Right. <laughs> wait till you get your wait till you get your uh, citizenship, then then they pass them out like they're freaking party favors in America. Right. That was a Stuart, joke. Stuart said, uh, "Sorry, I, I was reading, John. I missed what <laughs> I missed exactly what you said. Say it again." Uh, I was like, "Oh, I got one of those," and then I'm like, "Wait till you get your green card, then you can get your own." They literally pass them around like they're party favors. What? Well, I've got my green card. It's I'm actually going to be a citizen. Well, that's what I meant. That, like, yeah, citizen yeah, going yeah, and getting yeah. a gun, it's easy when you're American. Right, because you know? I can get one with a green card. I can get a, a, a concealed carry permit, everything. Seriously? Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. I'm a permanent resident. I've been here 14 years. Okay, hold on. You want to talk to the chat? i got to pick up this call, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, Stuart, I've seen at DIY Vapor. I'm not a good person, but I find if there's something wrong with the newborn... 
is um, it's there to challenge you in life and bring you and your wife closer and how you handle it. Well, ours was actually born premature. Um, she had three holes in her heart and she was in ICU for um, in the NICU for like three weeks. And it was it was tough. And they said one of the holes is because she's a premature baby and the hormone wasn't given out to cut that to stop that hole where they need to breathe from the mother or get their blood supply from the mother. So that one didn't shut. They, they said, we can shut that one, but the other two are inside the heart and they won't shut. And we were like devastated. It means invasive surgery and all that stuff. So we had her on special um, medication for a year. It meant she pissed three times as much as any other baby. So we went through tons of diapers. And then um, after a year, we take her in to be checked. And they said, She's only got one hole now. The two inside the heart sealed up miraculously. And the other one's just a easy, non-invasive surgery. And they went through a vein in her leg. And they went all the way up through her heart and put a little plug in it. And now you wouldn't know any different. But at the time, it was oh, stressful. Wow. But, uh, yeah, you get through it. And like you said, you do get closer. Wow. That's a lot. Why? Uh, let's see. Two daughters here. It was baseball bat I used to use to frighten suitors. Yeah. <laughs> I want to come out with a hockey mask on. Um, you know, uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, is it Friday the 13th? The hockey mask? I think it is, isn't it? The Friday hockey 13th. mask. I want to come out of a machete, a hockey mask, and just covered with blood. And just say, hi, young man. Are you here to see my daughter? <laughs> uh, no, sir. Wrong house. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Oh dear. Um, yeah, it's almost coming up on eight o'clock, so we're gonna have to wrap it up soon. Um, I will be having some more mixing videos coming out. Don't worry. This was kind of just like you know, uh, hello, I'm a live stream because I, I've been gone for a week, but I have been getting a lot of messages from a lot of you. Um, maybe not particularly you people in the chat right now, but I have been getting a lot of messages while I'm away. People asking why haven't I uploaded? But you know. I just got married, was on my honeymoon, so I was away, but now I'm back, so expect more videos. You know, I am working on some things, but I just want to let you guys know. But um, before we do go, though, for sure, I do want to give a shout-out to somebody in the community because he is an excellent DIYer, and he definitely deserves some recognition. And he does YouTube videos, and he's very knowledgeable in his flavors, and some of you maybe already know him. Um, but he, he is very knowledgeable. I, you know, there's some stuff I have even learned from this guy. Like, this guy is a really good DIYer. And he goes by the name of Chef John. Okay? A lot of you probably already know him. He has a YouTube channel. He does a lot of e-liquid reviews. Like, DIY e-liquid reviews. What? But he also, like, discusses flavors and flavor notes and all that other stuff. And he's a wealth of information. And I went over to his channel. Like, I watch his channel and, like... I have noticed that on his live streams, like, some of them haven't got that many views. Like, probably nobody knows about it. And then, like, some of his other videos, like, only had, like, so many views. And, like, honestly, this guy deserves a lot more than he's getting. And, like, just if you guys don't know who he is, check him out on YouTube. Chef John. Excellent. Chef DIY. John. All right. I'm going to put that down as another to-do on my little list here. Like, the guy's good. He, he is a little bit intimidating. Like, I wouldn't want to be on his bad side. But he's just a ver – he's like one of those uh, chefs, like, you I know, that critique I think I've things. seen him. I like, think I've seen him. Like, but he he definitely knows what he's talking about. But don't get on his bad side. <laughs> Why? Why? No, but he's a good dude. He's a good dude. And he definitely has some uh, some knowledge. So check him out if you don't know who he is. His name's Chef John. Yep, I'll definitely go over there. Well, yeah, like John said, we got, I've, I've got to go by 8 o'clock. I've got a league race. I'll be using my chair right there and my steering wheel. And um, I had so a, jealous of that I, I had three months off. I didn't race with them at all. Um, just, you know, stuff with the channel and life and things like that. So I, I backed out for a little bit, and I've just got back with them for a new season and uh, really enjoying it. So uh, we race every Wednesday and Saturday, so that's – me and John's live feed night Wednesday and my live feed night Saturday and I got a damn race straight afterwards but at least I'm here I just say to my wife I'm gone for the evening so yeah, uh, yeah. 
yeah, Wednesdays and Saturdays don't bother me. <laughs> yeah, that, that's about it. Uh, but, John, before uh, we go anywhere, thanks for having me over. It's always a pleasure uh, doing this with you. And uh, it's nice to be in your chat as well because there's a lot of people I don't know in here. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. You know, I see these names and you know them. And there, obviously, there's a lot of people I do know as well, but there's a few in there that I've not seen before. And it's kind of nice to come over and. Yeah, and, and it, guess this goes without and say saying, hi. guys, if you're not subscribed to uh, DIY Vapor, Chris over here, make sure you check him out. He is by far one of the awesomest dudes ever. So go check him out. But a lot of you probably are subscribed to him. But if you're not, definitely, definitely watch his stuff. He also is a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> Thank you. I don't do the flavor notes and stuff, though. Do you know what? People have asked me about that, and let me go there for you. Um, when when you watch someone, just say you watch someone, you watch John or or DIY or Die or one of the others that do flavor notes, and they say, oh, yeah, I've got this candy flavor, I've got these earthy back notes, and I've got this and that. I don't taste any of that shit. Um, if you want the honest truth, I can put clones together because of... Um, because I've got kind of a memory for the flavor. You know what I mean? It's like, it's got that in it. It's got this in it. Yeah, I know the difference between the can, you know, the blueberry candy, blueberry wild and all that. I can taste it, but I can't really explain it. You know what I mean? It's a feeling and not a something I can put into words. And that's really why I don't do it. Because I can't explain it very well. And I don't think it's fair on my viewers to say, oh, yeah, well, it's got this and it's got that. And then they're like, oh, well, DIY Vapor said this one's got more of an earthy note. And they get it. And it's like, well, what the fuck was he talking about? You know, it's just that's that's how I mix. It's kind of like through memory. Yeah. Uh, of just of just having the flavors. Well, that, that 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 is what it is. I mean, it's getting to know your flavors, and the, that is that is hard. I I struggle with that too. Like, you, I I do do flavor notes, but at the same times, like it, I do also find it hard at times to even like think of ways to describe it. Like, right. some flavors like are just. Do you know what? I'll try, I'll, try, I'll try one, John. I'll try one. I've got cherry with stevia, and I'm not a huge cherry fan. I, I love cherries. got fresh cherries in the fridge right now, but I can never get a decent flavor of cherry. But let's try it. I obviously sweet as shit because it's got stevia in there. The cherry is... I'd say it's somewhere half between like a candy cherry and a real cherry. It's got tartness in it. Um, it screams cherry the second you put it on your tongue. There's no mistake in it. You could be blindfolded and you put this on your tongue and you'll say, that's a cherry flavor. Not a real cherry. It's a cherry flavor. So it's artificial. It's not going to pass as the real thing. There we go. There's Chris's flavor notes. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> but that's, that's kind of where I can give that kind of description. But there's other things in there that I can't describe. But if I taste a juice in a shop or something like that, and I'll be like, that's got wild cherry in it. Yeah, but if you, you look know? at it this way, you may have just given somebody more information on that flavor than they had before they were willing to buy it. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, I mean, granted, like, there might be people either, one, have better taste or better vocabulary in describing it, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean there is no value in just doing what you just did. So what you're saying is i got no taste and I'm illiterate. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying I'm just, is, I'm messing with you, John. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I'm just saying, don't don't undervalue your services. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I just it, it's just not my thing. And also, you do a damn good job of it. So I think Thank it's you. uh, it's it's nice to have those two different things anyway. You know, yeah. two differences. And if we were doing both the same thing all the time, um. Yeah, we may as well just uh, well, shoot it together. Well, you know how I look at it is there's no way none of us can do the same thing because no matter what, we're always going to have different mixing style and different preferences. Like, yep. unless you're literally copying every single fucking recipe percentage for percentage and idea for idea. Like, well, I, well, I, picked, up, I picked up a grape airhead uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was there in a store and my, I was looking for some candy. My daughter had a chocolate bar, and I was going to get one, and I seen this great airhead, and I thought, let's try that. I took a bite of it, and I'm like, holy shit, I have got to make a vape on this. So I came home, I put it there, and I talked about it in a couple of videos, 
And someone asked me, have you done it yet? And I'm like, no. So one night I sat there and I took a bite of it and I'm like, okay. So I start grabbing grapes and smelling them and doing different stuff. And then I put it together. And you know what? Before I released it, I thought, John done a strawberry airhead. I need to go see what his recipe was. So I go over there and sure enough, you've got a couple of the flavors that are in there. And I'm like, well, fuck it. You know, <laughs> we, we use the same flavors. You know, some some people, you, you know, like the strawberry taffy, I add in there like a one or two percent because it's got that taffy taste. But there was a. Uh, yeah, and I used it, used something like saltwater taffy as well, and I thought I bet John didn't use that, and sure enough, you did, you asshole. But uh, but yeah, no, it, it came out I, real I good. I saw that video, and then you're like, oh, don't don't, don't think don't think I'm copying uh, JFM, but I'm like, dude, why, right. why would I even think that? I'm like, don't, I know, don't but uh, I've always got it in the back of my head, especially what being accused once of of uh, of taking. Uh, DIY or dyes uh, cheesecake after I've worked on it for about three fucking months and I just happened to have like four flavors in there out of the eight that I had in that he used and they weren't even the same percentages and someone said oh just run off of his cheesecake then you noob or something you know and I'm like you gotta be shitting me so the first thing I thought was oh shit what have I done so I go over and look at his cheesecake recipe and I'm like oh that's okay there's nothing like it but I think it's just someone fucking with me anyway. Yeah. But it's just at the it's same time, I, you know, if it is close to someone else and I'm proud of doing it myself, I'll still put it out there and just say, hey, it's close to this person, but I didn't know it. <laughs> There's always going to be someone out there that's going to try to tear you down. You know that. Oh, there is. There is. No matter what. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I took that one to heart a little bit. I was like, no, that's not where I'm at. You know, I don't take other people's recipes and then build on them. Apart from your pancake, which I've still not hit yet. I have, uh, I've got your base, your pancake base, and it will be used as pancake, lemon pancake. Pancake. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't have English accent. Yeah. Pancake. (laughs) And, uh, yeah, well, we've got pounds, 10 pounds. Holy shit. Pancake in English accent sounds like pancake. (laughs) Pancake. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it does. Yeah. But, um, yeah, your pound cake. Um, I'm going to have to use that as a base. It's a great base. I remember telling you, I think, so I'm going to have to do something with it and then, when I do, well, uh, I'll well, obviously Well, at that say... time when I made that recipe, I wasn't working with as many lemons as I have now. And if I knew what I knew then, what I knew now about lemon, I would have probably, like, adjusted it more to, like, yes. make it more lemony. Well, the thing is, my idea with it is is to take the lemon out and use the rest of it as a base. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and it's it's a great cake base. And I think I said, told you that once on the live feed, I think, and said to you, I've tried this, and it's 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 not... It's not very much of a lemon pancake because of the lemon. Not like what we know now about lemon, we could nail it. Yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah, the base is really good. It's a real good cake. So uh, I'll be definitely Speaking still stealing lemons, that one. A really sometime. good one, though, if you haven't tried it. You go to Easter Express, right? Yes. Try their Flavor Express lemon. It's like one of the best lemons. Someone else said that recently. Let it's, me get it. It's amazing, man. It is. I'll tell you another one that I just tried. Um. Oh, God, Lemon Cake Concentrate or something? I can't remember who it's by, but that was pretty good. Are you talking about Metaphor from Flavor Art? No. No, okay. it's, it's, uh, it might be Inawera or someone like that. Oh, maybe. I can't, I can't remember who it is, but it's like Lemon Cake lemon cake Concentrate or something like that it's called. Hmm. That, one's, that one's nice. Um, what was I going to write down, John? Uh, Flavor Express Lemon. <laughs> yes, that's right. F... E lemon. Yeah. Okay. I have to definitely give that one a try. I've All heard right. I've heard about that one. All right. Well it is two minutes to eight. Okay, so uh we're about to wrap it up guys. So uh thank you, Chris, for coming by. I really appreciate it. You're always welcome here. Thank you. Um we will try again. Uh, we, me and Chris usually try to do a show together on Wednesday, a live show. Uh, I know the last couple of weeks have been a little bit hectic, but uh, hopefully next week we'll have another show on his channel. We'd like to switch off between channels on live stream on Wednesdays. But, you know, stay up to date with the, between the DIY Vapor group or the JFM Just Friggin' Mix Facebook group. We'll definitely let you know if there's a live stream going on. Did you change the name actually of your group? Yeah, it's um, it's DIY mixing group or something. <laughs> DIY e juice mixing. DIY e juice mixing. 
DIY e-juice mixing. And if you guys aren't a part of that group, make sure you check it out. It's actually growing pretty well. It's we're doing really good. So the reason why we done it, we had some other people come in. It was DIY mixing or something like that. Um, when we first had it and some guy come in who was a DJ and thought it was mixing music and he asked us some <laughs> questions you know, like what the hell is he talking about and then I thought you know what I need to be a bit more descriptive so I changed it oh okay all right so make sure you check out his Facebook group and my Facebook group uh, just to stay up to date on our live streams uh, when we're gonna have that on the Wednesdays and all that uh, make sure if you need anything for your DIY arsenal, you check the links down in the description down below. Um, also, subscribe to Chris if you're not. Subscribe here if you're not. Make sure you put a like on the video. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by, and you guys have yourselves a great day. Peace. Thanks, folks. Good night.